Hey everybody, welcome to another segment of Talking Cubs. I'm your host Ryan Davis, and I'll be joined in a moment by my co-host Sean Sears. We're going to be doing another one of our player previews, talking about one of the best relievers in Chicago Cubs franchise history. I think everybody should know who that is. Sean, uh, can Pedro Strope continue his run of greatness in 2019, even though he's almost 34 years old now? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I, as long as Pedro Strope's going to be able to throw that slider and locate his two-seamer, it shouldn't be a problem. And that's never been an issue, so I don't know why we'd start worrying about it now. Uh, like right. you were saying... Pedro Strope, one of the most reliable relievers in Cup history, ended the season with 13 saves, was able to come in in the second half and really kind of be just a solid closer for the Cubs without Brandon Morrow. Um, At this point, it sounds like he's coming into the season probably, maybe he hasn't been officially named the closer, I don't think, but he's probably the most likely guy to step into that role while Brandon Morrow figures his stuff out. And even then, we're not sure if he's going to come in and still be the closer. So I think this has a really good, big potential for Pedro Strope to really come onto the scene as more than just seen as a solid middle end of the reliever kind of guy to being a true closer this year, which could be great. Yeah. I've got his stats with the Cubs here. It's some pretty impressive stuff. 331 and a third innings he has a 2.63 ERA with more than 10 strikeouts per nine, less than three and a half walks per nine. So those are really good numbers. Uh, if you just looked at any individual season, if a reliever put those up, you'd be like, wow, that guy had a great year. But this is like from 2013 to 2018, um, middle of the 2013 season when they acquired him, actually. So uh, a long run. And then, you know, look at, look at it even further. Relievers tend to be a little more volatile where a guy might uh, have a couple great years and then one terrible year and then bounce back and have another great year. Uh, Pedro Strip has never posted an ERA above 2.91 with the Cubs. He's never had an ERA in the threes, which even then a, a 3.00 ERA would still be really good. Um, last year may have been one of his best years, 2.26 ERA, as you mentioned, 13 saves in that closers role. So um, this year he's coming in healthy after having that injury, that unfortunate injury, sprinting down to first base when Madden had him bat with the bases loaded. But, uh, you know, this season, Again, he's going to be 34 years old. You never know how relievers are going to age after they get out of those prime seasons. You just don't know with what he, what you're going to get from him going forward. But if you just look at the history, it should be one of the best relievers on the team. So I'm excited about Pedro Strope this year. I know Cub fans in general love him. Uh, the, there's the occasional Cub fan who remembers a home run given up to a St. Louis Cardinals player at some point that uh, completely altered their entire opinion of Strope. But I think on the whole, everybody understands that this guy is one of the best relievers they've ever had. Yeah. I, if, if you don't, you, you're doing yourself just, you're not paying attention to stuff at this point because Pedro Strope has been everything you could ask for. And then some, particularly when you talk about how the Cubs acquired him and, you know, of course, Jake Arrieta on that infamous trade. Um, Pedro Strope has been everything you could possibly ask for in a setup guy reliever if he fills any role you really need him to on top of the fact that he's just an excellent clubhouse guys we've mentioned before on this show and of course our locked on cubs podcast uh pedro stroke loves to goof around and his uh just whatever you want to bring moxie charisma whatever it is you want to describe pedro strope's Pedro Stropeness, um, go for it. But he's just a goofball, and it's crazy to go see him do these things, smile on the mound, and then strike some guy out with a you know eighty-seven mile an hour slider that just touches all sides of the plate. Uh, he's such a fun guy to watch, and for him to be as effective as he's been throughout his years, it's crazy to think. Do you remember in the World Series in two thousand sixteen where we were kind of nervous to use Pedro Strope in moments? Yeah. Like Mike Montgomery got the save, you know, it was CJ Edwards and then Mike Montgomery coming to relieve guys at the end of this game and stroke. Right. stroke was was bullpen. Yeah. He was in the bullpen, hadn't been used kind of a question mark. It's crazy to think now, you know, he's probably the first guy that the Cubs are going to go to in one of these moments where they need someone to go and get some strikeouts. So um, right. I'm really excited for Pedro Strope. Obviously 33, three years old, you can probably really expect maybe some type of regression to an extent, but the type of season he's had, he's still missing bats at a high level uh, near at one point last season, 8.84 K per nine. Uh, he still mows dues down and he doesn't get hit. Uh, you know, it's, it, he has the full package and for him to be this good for so long and people not to talk about him just speaks to how you know underrated some relievers can be for clubs. 
Yeah, and you, we talked about Pedro Strope uh, in the World Series that year and in the playoffs being, you know, not totally unusable, but not what he was. Um, let's just looking back through the notes here on August 10th of that season against the Los Angeles Angels, um, he injured himself on a, essentially like a swinging bunt trying to field a ball uh, at Wrigley Field, you know, missed over a month of time, didn't return until September 23rd, and then pitched three and two-thirds innings before the end of the season. Um, that was kind of the reason for that is, you know, he was hurt. Uh, Hector Rondon had uh, similar stuff going on. It's funny to look back on that World Series team and think, you know, obviously they made that, uh, you know, kind of infamous trade for Aroldis Chapman, but um, the bullpen was not really in good shape that year and uh strope being he was such a big part of it before all that um before the injury and and you know it's kind of amazing that they won the world series without the use of him in the bullpen that year yeah especially with how important he was last year i mean the cubs were praying that he was gonna be back by the time the postseason began and obviously everything went to crap before he got back um <laughs> obviously they, yeah. they lost the division lost the playing game got to the wild card game, lost that obviously, but Strope was a key reason that they were able to even be in that moment because without him, you look at the rest of the bullpen, it was him and Steve Ciszek. If it was Jeff Steve Ciszek, I don't know if he'd be able to throw baseballs anymore. He would have thrown hundreds of innings. Um, yeah. But the, I mean, Strope, it, it, the role he ser serves on this team and what he brings to the club allows the Cubs to be just you know, in a good spot simply because they know at the back end, they're going to be able to get a guy that's going to be able to give you Sub sub three ERA, sub two fifty ERA potentially, miss bats and do it with a big smile on his face. I mean, that's awesome. That's probably one of the best things about Pedro Strope is that he's got such a great personality. Everybody in the clubhouse seems to love him, like you mentioned, and like we've talked about before. He's, you know, one of the clubhouse leaders. Um, if you wanted to just narrow it down, I think the Cubs actually did. Didn't they do that leadership committee thing? Um, stealing that idea from the Bulls. Yeah. Uh, last year, I think in uh, October, they had uh, a group of a couple leaders, and I, I saw some beat reporters kind of speculating about who they could have been. And Pedro Strope was one of those guys, and and that wouldn't surprise me that that that's kind of his role. He is one of the more vocal leaders in that clubhouse, and uh, he's not only sometimes you have guys who try and step up and be leaders who haven't earned it on the field with their performance, and so in that way, it doesn't resonate as much with a lot of the other players. Pedro Strope is a guy who has earned it with his performance. And it's not just, you know, a couple of great years. It is year in, year out. This is a guy who has thrown you know, over 300 innings as a reliever with the team. Uh, so he's he's well respected within the Cubs clubhouse. Yeah, that's safe to say. Um, I think the only time he isn't well respected is when he's trying to pull a prank on them or something or messing with <laughs> music and lights in the in the clubhouse. That's the one time where they're like, okay, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, if you like Pedro Strope, go to the comments and let us know your favorite Pedro Strope moment. If you don't like Pedro Strope, I guess let us know why as well. Uh, we'll disagree with you respectfully, but uh, feel free to send along your opinion. Uh, go to down below and click that subscribe button as well. Let us know that you like what we're doing, that when we see the subscribers start to pile up. We'll know that we're doing a really good job with these videos, and we will talk to you again next time.